This is my Zip Kits JAE 33 FE Outrigger. And I'd like to share with you how my custom made stealth cowling attaches. I originally designed it to be held on with magnets. Nice clean look. But I've been taping it because I never fully trusted the magnets to hold if it flipped it. Just felt like the water pressure could blow it off. Now I've added a thumb screw and I'll be comfortable enough to run it without tape. I just don't like taping the time it takes. And it's not like tape, pulling tape on and off your, your paint on, your, um, on the boats. So with the thumb screw, I am now very confident that it, uh, it won't come off. Let's, um, let's take a look at what I got here. Um, and I'll show you, bring you in closer and show you how everything works, how it attaches to the hull. So there's a wooden tongue hooks under the front here. Magnets are about in this area. And I had a tab of clear tape that I would pop it open in the back here. So that's gone. Now I have the thumb screw. So now I can get purchase on the thumb screw to pop the magnets open. Here are the magnets. The magnets are here. Attaches to this, uh, these metal discs here. But it has a tongue here that centers it left and right. This hooks under this front lip here. And these magnets protrude, so they drop below this bulkhead. So it can't slide back. Magnets are stronger, pull them straight apart. They would come apart easier sliding them. So that would keep it from sliding. So that tongue centers it up, slide it forward, it snaps down, and now I have the thumb screw. Now there's just no way physically this can come off unless something breaks. This thumb screw, I've added this um, birch plywood piece here and the uh, thread receiving thread is epoxied into it now that I've got that I look at this thumb screw and beautiful um, piece of machine aluminum high quality aluminum but a bit of an eyesore to me so this is what you get when you order OSE's um, thumb screw latches, knurled knob, it's etched OSE racing, and then you have the nut which has the holes for epoxy to get better purchase. But what I don't like is the height of this right here. So here's what I have done. I set this up on my lathe and I've modified one of these thumb screws. I took all this out in here. So I have a lower profile thumb screw and then I shortened the thread. The same amount that I machined out of there. So that's the same length thread now, just lower profile. And I'll show you why I maintain that thread length. The way to set these up is you want as much room above the nylock nut as you have engagement into the internal thread. So as you're unscrewing this, it has to have room to come up out of the thread, the internal thread. And then to set the height of the internal thread, I'm looking at this measurement from the bottom of the cowling to the thread, how much thread's hanging out. 
And that's how I set the height of the thread when I epoxy that piece of birch plywood in. The other part of it is I'm not tightening down and crushing my um, cowling. It's bottoming out against this nylock nut. It's set up that way. I also have a Teflon washer under the nut, the thumb screw, I mean, so it doesn't mark up my paint. So what it does is when you tighten this down, it actually seats against the internal thread and you just adjust the nut to where it's giving you the amount of squeeze you want on your cowling. Not crushing the cowling and I'm just squeezing against my seal. Here's a close up look at my silicon seal. You can see a little bit of extra silicon hanging off in a few places. Um, not hard to do. Run a small bead of silicon right on the lip and then cover that with strips of a uh, saran wrap and put the cowling in place, let it cure overnight. Very thin, lightweight, perfectly matches the shape um, of your cow. You can even see like a little bit of wood grain in the uh, silicon right there, but simple to do. Look it up on my channel if you want to watch a video. I'm not going to include a link for that. So there it is. My low profile thumb screw installed. Unscrew it. Pop the magnets. Disengage the front tongue. And now you have a better understanding, hopefully, with that in-depth look at how my stealth cowling attaches to my Zipkits JAE33FE outrigger. Nice setup. Now with the thumb screw, gauge of tongue, magnet snap shut. Tighten down the thumb screw, put it in the water. I like that.